Discord to the cloud. Oh, yeah, here we are. Uh, tour date time. Andrew, you got anything? Uh, New Year's Eve uh, streaming show with Christopher Titus. If you go to combustionfilms.com or follow Christopher Titus on any social media, you can get tickets to watch that show. I'll be hosting for Christopher Titus and Rachel Bradley. That's really exciting. Um, you're going to be uh, like live in studio slash garage slash. Yeah, they've uh, built exciting. a little room, I guess, and they're supposed to have maybe 10 people that are um, tested, oh. maybe. I don't know, but uh, I assume so. So. Um, Great. And then what and happens? Then vir- and then virtual. Yes. And then cool. the rest of it. So I think there will be laughter to pace yourself uh, at least, you know. But I started at Giggles, so, you know, 10 people is a great audience for me. <laughs> exactly. Ken's here. Ken Hamlet is here. Um, Ken, uh, welcome. Do you have any uh, tour dates coming up that are notable or anything you want to Yeah. Yeah. Um, February 12th weekend, I'll be out in Austin and San Antonio. Um, and then the rest of everything else is dead forever, I think. I think that's... <laughs> We all have to move to Texas is uh, the answer. Nashville. Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Nashville. I don't want to bomb popping in Nashville. Um, I'm still doing my virtual uh, show that was local before in my hometown. Uh, so Everett Comedy Night is going to be on January 10th. Uh, man, Ken, I should have you do it. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk after the episode about that. Uh, yeah. And every second. Don't you want to book someone that's funny, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to book someone who has good audio. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> and a good backdrop. And so far, so good with Ken. So uh, we're excited uh, oh, yeah. to have you on the show. Here come the jokes after a three-second pause. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Homeschool, episode twenty-three, the Michael Jordan episode. Also, the last episode of 2020. You know what? We hope we made your year better. That's a super low bar. <laughs> hey, congrats! <laughs> yeah, just you better. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't shit your pants. This is the best day ever. <laughs> not good. Not great. Just better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not hard. The world is on fire, but hey, at least we got these shit jokes. <laughs> yeah. Well. It is frustrating writing jokes without anywhere to perform them, you know, because jokes are like boners. They can happen for any reason at any time. And you just got to hope you can remember it later when you need it. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of assistance from some drugs. Also, Mm. mine usually come while I'm alone in the shower. So (laughs) that's where I come the most, too. (laughs) But uh, hey, if you thought this podcast would take a break for Christmas, me too. But uh, here we are back with more jokes every week until the apocalypse. By the way, this po- apocalypse is taking forever. Can we uh, hurry this up? <laughs> Speed it up. I don't want to write any more jokes. Uh, well, tis the season. Merry Christmas, Corey. Did you have a, a good a good holiday? Yeah, uh, actually, no, because Christmas <laughs> was canceled. Uh, clearly, the coronavirus was created. Just those anti-Christian libtards could get what they've wanted for years. Mm. Well, I celebrated and I even oh. got you a Christmas present, but uh, it might take a few weeks to uh, arrive because uh, shipping is uh, it's coming from overseas. Oh, what? That's sweet of you. What? What is it? Uh, it's a new strain of coronavirus. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have like literally. Why did you? <laughs> also, let's call it where it came from. The Great Britain virus. Huh? Those limey bastards. Yeah. I'm sure Trump has suspended travel from the UK. I mean, after all, he loves taking credit for shutting down travel from China six weeks later than he should have. But uh... Uh, he actually just signed an executive order to bring back the Concorde jet. So uh, (laughs) we need more Corona faster. We need it here sooner. (laughs) I uh, actually the truth is I celebrated Christmas virtually this year. Ah, do you have like a Zoom with your family? Oh, no. I watched a cam girl pour eggnog all over her body while she used a candy cane dildo. Uh, You could have just said yes. (laughs) Oh, I guess so. (laughs) Yes, my family. Did she send it to you if you tip? (laughs) Uh, You travel to L.A. again against orders, by the way, to be with your family. Um, How was your Christmas? 
Well, yeah, of course. I, I went to see my family. It's the first time everyone is unemployed at the same time. We're oh, not allowed right. to visit. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're kind of turning into a bit of a family man, I see. Do you want to have kids now? You know, being around them, especially at Christmas, really helped me discover things I didn't know were important. And uh, for me, it's silence. <laughs> Yeah, duh. that's why all the Christmas carols are about silent nights. Ken knows what's up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My kid is bound what... in the garage right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what parents used to wish for before Santa invented the goddamn PlayStation. Uh, that's what I look for in a president. Uh, can't wait till we have a silent president. Right, silent president. <laughs> Holy president. Like literally crawl in a hole somewhere, could you? <laughs> uh, shallow grave. <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring to it. But uh, uh, hey, yeah. speaking of silent president, how come he hasn't tweeted about the Nashville bombing yet? Well, obviously, he's just waiting to find out if that person voted for him or not. You know, if he yeah, finds out sense. that he did, <laughs> he is going to praise him. Uh, yeah. uh, he he knocked out the 5G. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give him a break. Uh, Trump's on vacation. He can't get yeah. to his phone all the time. You know. Well, you got to use that paid time off while you can, right before the end of the year. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good look, really. Three hundred and thirty thousand people are dead. Hospitals are full, and unemployment benefits are expiring. That's like uh, the Jets' head coach taking time off in the middle of the season. Right, it's like, dude. <laughs> You're going to be unemployed in two weeks. <laughs> it's really bad. We need a superhero to save us. And I know just the lady. Uh, the new Wonder Woman came out on Christmas Day. Did you watch it? Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I noticed a lot of dudes hating on it. I wonder, <coughs> woman, <coughs> why? Um, <laughs> I honestly, yeah. I didn't see the first one, so I didn't really understand how to hate the sequel. No, oh, yeah. Did you get a little corona in your throat there? Um, <laughs> well, the movie was kind of long. It's uh, about two and a half hours. But the good news is it felt like three. Ah, I'd watch <laughs> Gal Gadot for two and a half straight hours. That's not true. I'd at least uh, 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of uh, dragging on, why isn't coronavirus going away after the election? I thought that's what the plan was. Right. Well, maybe they meant once all the votes are like certified. Maybe they meant 2024 election. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I mean, I hope I just get this vaccine soon. I mean, this shit's getting really terrible. Why well, are you worried about the microchip in the vaccine tracking your movement? Oh, sorry. Well, I Sorry, I missed that. I was just checking into this restaurant on Foursquare. <laughs> okay. You're not supposed to eat indoors, <laughs> Corey. You know this. But uh, hey, well, if you want the vaccine sooner, uh, you could just move to Texas because Texas decided to ignore the CDC recommendations and they're going to vaccinate old people like you first instead <laughs> of essential employees like healthcare workers and police officers. Well, the police already have those face shields and with how often they're shooting people these days, they're probably <laughs> staying six feet away from anybody, right? I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Old people are the most vulnerable. Uh, the 23-year-old essential worker at Taco Bell doesn't, like, need the vaccine first, right? Yeah. But, I mean, how many people is your Nana coming in close contact with? That's a good point. Not a lot right now. She's just been doing her candy cane dildo show on Zoom. So <laughs> Keeping it safe. <laughs> yeah. She's real stickler for safety there. But... Uh, stickler. That's what she <laughs> puts inside of her. Uh, stickler. <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, when the candy cane gets uh, worn down. Stuck. <laughs> well, how, much, well how much do we have to tip to get that candy cane? That's all I want to know. Still... <laughs> how many licks does it get to the, get to the center of the... Oh, uh, she's oh. Sell- <laughs> great she's reference. Ah, <laughs> uh, speaking of horny old fuckers, Trump has threatened to veto the stimulus bill because the checks are only six hundred dollars. Instead, he's demanding two thousand dollars. Is two thousand too much money? You think? Nah, I think we should get a dollar for every day we've been forced to lock down. Yeah. Well, wait. That's only like three hundred bucks. <laughs> Well, it's felt like two thousand. It sure has. Uh, Still uh, less you... than what he paid for those massages from those kids, though. So. And his fucking uh, yeah, to his toupee and um, I mean, there's all sorts a... of random Me shit and... in this bill. Did you see? Did you look into it, Corey? Oh, I didn't read it. Neither, but neither has anybody in Congress, right? It's like five thousand pages, <laughs> and they're trying to jam all this random stuff through. 
I yeah, right. Before. I was re- uh, jamming all that random stuff in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hey, do, it's, it's, your grandma wrote the bill. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there's like uh, twenty-five million dollars for gender programs in Pakistan, five hundred million dollars to Israel, and two and a half million dollars just to count the number of amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh wow, twenty-five million dollars in Pakistan for gender programs. There's only like one, <laughs> two, one gender that matters, right? Um, okay, uh, a couple million bucks to count all the fish in the Gulf of Mexico seems like a hell of a deal or a price, right? Yeah. Like for the size of that operation. This guy must have read The Art of the Deal. Uh, Yeah. Uh, The Pope's Instagram account has been liking uh, racy photos of hot Instagram models. He's been in real trouble now. Yeah, his wife is going to be really mad. (laughs) For sure. But, hey, at least he's not liking photos of adolescent boys. I'd say this is a positive scandal, you know, step in the right direction. Maybe Crystalia can be the new pope, you know, (laughs) whenever that comes around. I don't know where that came from. He's just doing shows in Texas. uh, Um, (laughs) Is he? No, no, I don't know. I'm sure he'd be allowed (laughs) to. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of steps in the right direction, last week TV personality Rush Limbaugh had his last day on air due to lung cancer. Also, it will soon be his last day of air (laughs) uh, due to lung cancer. Um, (laughs) Doctors found a cancerous cancerous growth on his lung, and it turned out just to be the rest of his body and personality. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, hey, shout out to this week's sponsor, Cancer. Or uh, actually, shout out to this week's sponsor, Corey's Nana. Uh, with all the profits from her Zoom show, we were able to buy this podcast equipment. So shout out to uh, Dorothy. Boom, uh, boom you... on Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Uh, <laughs> boom, boom uh, on Zoom, Zoom. I like it. Oh, uh, man. Well, they, hey, there are the jokes. Ken, Dale. Ha- what's the Dale? It's just your middle name or what's? Uh, that's oh. that's my first name is Ken Dale. Nobody calls oh, me Ken Dale. That's right. <laughs> Thanks I for putting my that. government name out there, dude. Thank you. Hey, man. <laughs> his, uh, his, <laughs> your, uh, I'll give your address and your phone number and your social security <laughs> number is 534-98-4317. Yeah, I mean, it's real hard to no, find dude, all I- that information on Instagram and Foursquare and uh, Facebook <laughs> and MySpace and Tinder and uh, Ashley Madison and... Yeah, it's funny. Someone <laughs> said to me recently, like, because I, I took a photo of my uh, t- two photos. One was of me voting, and I had my signature and I think my address on it. And then the other was my license, and I didn't block out stuff. And they're like, I can't, like all these were like, I can't believe you put that up. And I was like, we literally used to put our addresses and phone numbers on people's doorsteps, like every three months. <laughs> we we're like, hey, That's here so you true. go. <laughs> like, you just find anybody you want. Like, Here's the phone book. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm uh, yeah, go ahead and steal my identity. It's not working well for me. So <laughs> exactly, I love. I was hoping to change it anyway. You know, see, <laughs> yeah. see what you can. And do then when it. I call fraud, I can call all my stuff that I actually did with my credit and get that. Oh, that Chipotle! Too, so. <laughs> he went to Chipotle every single day. <laughs> that guy is crazy. It sounds like BS. Yeah, yeah <laughs> don't check the security me. footage, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Ken, Ken uh, is here with us. Excited. You're uh, where are you at right now? Physically uh, in the world. Chicago, Chicago, yes. the greatest second city in the world is what they yeah. say. I think. I don't know. Are they? That is funny. Chicago. Second city. Chicago. Yeah. yeah. You know, the place that closed during the pandemic. So. <laughs> I mean, that's every city, to be honest. Except like, for to shootings. <laughs> uh, they're wide open to shootings. <laughs> um, yeah, we are killing in that number one export, actually. I've never thought about that. With Could you the, stop um, exporting? <laughs> the, we're, um, we're cool with it out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you <laughs> keep it to yourselves? The um, I've never thought about that. The uh, improv group was called Second City, so... That that's just to New York, right? I guess. Can't believe they the named idea. it after the improv group. It's crazy. <laughs> you guys just think you're not as good as <laughs> I, you're just like admitting, hey, we're not as good as New York, but we're pretty good. Is that the deal? For sure. I, yeah, like nobody. I, I mean, people think that it's as 
is New York, but like it's I mean it's Chicago. It's like baby New York. Even though it's it was like bigger than New York at a time, but like we just, you know, it's it did Chicago Midwest stuff and they were like, "Oh, this is good enough. I'm cool with this. I don't have to for more." Had the tallest <laughs> building in the world for a while. I think Chicago's amazing. Chicago's like I've always said it to be like uh, like a super clean New York. Yeah, that's Relative. that was like the big reason why I moved here. It was like the yeah. clean option, uh, but it's yeah, it's not New yeah, York. How about that sure. weather? I mean, I I mean, I know people talk about that's like a I can't handle the cold. That I, cold. it's not. I don't know. For me, I just kind of got used to it. I'm never the cold never bothered me. I'm like super hot all the time, anyways. And uh, doesn't leave the house. And that's like is a, what, what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said you're super Basically. hot all the time. Yeah, that's sounds right. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like always drunk, so like <laughs> always warm. <when> you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, the cold, the cold. Uh, you kind of that's like a weird thing. Like the the thing that bothers me, I don't care about the cold as much. It's like the drastic change from like humidity during the summer to like the winter where it just gets like crazy dry. I hate that. That's the part well, that I hate. Well, like, I was that's gonna say because even the summer was like is like crazy humid. So when I was there in the summer, yeah. I was like, it's just not. I don't know. It didn't seem very uh, livable. But uh, hey, it's a beautiful city. Yeah, it's great. It's Christmas time. It's probably uh, is it snowing? You got any snow? This we have no snow. It's just I did see Oprah one time, or it was just <laughs> another black lady. Could have been one. <laughs> Might have been my or mom you're visiting, racist. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope people watch the video uh, of this. Uh, Ken is black, if you haven't okay, figured that out. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. And I'm, Andrew's uh, in L.A. I'm, You're in L.A. right now. Yeah, that's why we had to take out all the N-words from the podcast of the of this episode. But we'll be back to regularly scheduled program next week. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was confused when the intro music changed. I was like, what is going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, I'm uh, down in uh, Los Angeles, uh, Calabasas, California. Um, yeah, uh, where uh, where Santa visits more than once a year. They film all those Lexus commercials where they, uh, you know, those commercials where the the wife comes outside and there's a brand new Lexus in the driveway. They film all those here every single week. <laughs> there no are, actors, just <laughs> they just go just door to real door. life stories. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, oh man. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. My brother bought a, uh, my brother was living in Santa Monica and having trouble finding a, a place to buy. He was renting for a little while. And um, and then uh, once the pandemic hit, a lot of uh, really nice houses sort of came on the market for low value. And so he uh, he put an offer in on this place. And like two days later, like two hours later, I guess, is the story was uh, accepted. So uh, it's really, really nice neighborhood. We went for a walk around the neighborhood. And um, so uh, I was here for Thanksgiving, which was uh, they were just moving in probably like a, a couple of weeks by then. And my brother was telling me like one of his neighbors, he's like, we're walking around the neighborhood. And he goes, oh, I think um, this guy's a musician. And they're all fancy, like really nice houses. So you're kind of like, I'm sure they all do something crazy. Yeah, yeah, and he goes, um, he goes, yeah, I think this guy's the drummer in LMFAO, that band, and I was like confused because I was like, I don't think they have a drummer, but maybe, maybe there's like got behind the scenes guys. I don't, I thought it was just two dudes shaking their uh, penises for the camera, <laughs> but uh, I didn't really think anything of it, and I was like, oh, I guess some some drummer dude lives there, and uh, and so my brother was like, yeah, I asked him like. What he does, he said he's a musician, and um, I asked if he was like still performing, and he goes, I or he goes, uh, do, are you like a singer? He goes, I don't really sing, and so I just figured <laughs> he's like a drummer. And I was like, okay. So then Christmas Day, we're walking around, and the uh, the cool thing is that this guy has um, right along the road, there's like a fence with um, uh, a turkey and a pig and a basket of like vegetables to feed them. So like you can walk through the neighborhood with your kids and be like, let's feed the pig and feed the turkey. So that's like an, a tradition on our walks now as we just go feed the pig and stuff. So they and can so fatten we, them up and kill yeah, them on Christmas. So he can kill them for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and Yeah, so yeah. we're, uh, we're uh, Christmas day. We go for a little bike ride. We stop at the top of the hill and we, um, 
are feeding this guy's pigs. And all of a sudden the dude comes walking out just um, his house is far away. So it's not like he he must have just been out hanging by the fence. And uh, it's 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 the lead singer from the singer lead singer from LMFAO. It's oh, Red it? Foo. It's Red Foo. He's got the giant afro and <laughs> And he's I would right, have never. He, yeah, he's right that he doesn't sing <laughs> for sure. True. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, look at that body. So <laughs> it's so, it's so funny because I'm sitting there going like if he would have never said, oh, a guy from LMFAO lives over there, I probably would have never put it together. Right, but right, right. With that context clue, I'm like, oh, that's the main guy. I don't know his name or anything, but that looks like the guy. And then he had to. But like, uh. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, just I don't know, but I'm also like, I could be wrong. I don't know anything. I'm an idiot, and but uh, but maybe his twin like, brother's the drummer. But yeah, sure. So, but I'm, you know, we're hanging out, and and my brother's like talking to the guy, and they're hitting it off, and they're being super nice, and I guess they've talked a little bit before, and so um, he lets us in to like feed the animals, and we're all hanging out. My brother's like. So you guys like touring now or what are you doing? He goes, nah, not really. We I we kind of we're not really a band anymore, but um, I'm like I'm getting into producing more and whatever. And I'm like, OK, it makes sense. Like, I think this is the dude or whatever. So we right, right, right. we all have a good conversation. My brother, like, is kind of like asking a girl out where he was like, um, oh, I should drop off that thing. Some I don't know how people make friends with their neighbors, but he's like, oh, I should <laughs> drop off. With the, they're talking about swimming pools. They're like, oh, we got an estimate for a swimming pool. And they're like, oh, like 90 grand. He's like, yeah, it's expensive. And the guy's like, hey, give me his number. I want a swimming pool. <laughs> I was like, OK. And he goes, uh, should I just write a note or like leave it in your mailbox? And the guy's like, just take my number down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me get your number. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's like writing down his number and he goes, um, and he's just been calling him Foo. That's how he was introduced to him. So he's like, oh, it's Foo, right? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, what's your last name? And he's like, <laughs> um, he goes, uh, people call me Red Foo. So you can just type Red Foo or. So um, that you witnessed all this. Foo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching <laughs> this all happen. And so you're, he's like, you're like, I'm oh, just yeah. like, oh, my God, these guys have no idea. Or I think like maybe he's playing it cool. Sure. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it did seem he was like hesitant to be like, Hey, give me your number and let's just all be friends. And, and the uh, guy, like the what? guy was like, um, Oh, I bought this house over there like a couple weeks ago. Cause uh, just came available. And I decided to buy a second house in the <laughs> same it neighborhood. Was Cause it was yes. available. <laughs> I was like, this guy has buy a second house for no reason money. So, um, <laughs> and he was being super nice. He's like walking us around both properties and going like, Oh, this half of this thing and whatever. Whole life, and he goes, ah, Foo Gordy. That's my real name or whatever last name. Yeah. And so he's like, oh, okay, Foo Gordy. And so we're walking away, and uh, I'm like, okay, that's cool. And so we we get back to the house, and I was like, uh, uh, I was talking to my brother's wife at first, and I go, do you have any idea who that guy is? And she's like, no. And I go, I was like trying to sing the song. I'm like, look at that, I worked out. And they're like, eh, <laughs> you you're on crack, you know? And I'm like, he did the thing and the party rocking and the party rock. Everybody's yeah. in the house. And they're like, shot, you're, shot, please shot. don't on. sing. That's yeah, yeah. John. Wait, nah, I don't know. It is same thing, actually. He was on okay. that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're All right. right. Okay. You're not wrong. Right. So, um, old, but, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not that old. <laughs> so uh, then I'm like talking to my brother. I go, uh, I'll have to show you one of his videos when we get back to the house. And so I pop up my uh, laptop and I pull up YouTube and literally two billion views on his music video. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, like, oh, wow, Keith. Uh, so I play the song. I'm like, this guy has two billion views. You have no idea who he is. He's like, uh, not a clue. The song comes on and he's like, Oh yeah, I think uh, I think that yeah it sounds familiar. I remember this kind of thing. <laughs> Bro, you and couldn't like, go anywhere without that song playing when it was like you couldn't go to church without that song <laughs> playing as you're walking. That's what's cool is church. I think he's like a re he's like not recognizable enough. Like he's got that perfect yeah. level of like he's so rich, but no one like walking down the street would be like the guy from that techno group from ten years ago that was popular. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I so guess. um. That's that's gold. So we're watching the videos and then um 
And uh, he's like, I'll click on this. He's like really excited now. He's like, click on this one. I'll click on this one. <laughs> and so uh, and then his three year old daughter walks up and is watching the music video and she's like dancing. And he's like, oh, it's and it's actually pretty PG-13 music. You know, it's, they're not swearing or anything. Mm. But the music video is, uh, you know, Ron Jeremy and the close up of their their dicks and stuff. And so <laughs> uh, so for like 30 seconds, we're like, hey, this is OK for the kids to watch. And this is they're dancing. And it's fun. And then it's just a real close up of, uh, of him in a thong trying to, you know, <laughs> pound it uh. to the camera. And <laughs> and then my brother's like, <laughs> all right, uh, all yeah, right. yeah, we're going to we're going to pause this and um, <laughs> let's not let's not ruin their childhood yet. And um, Damn. so then pretty wild, pretty crazy. So then the next day, my brother goes for a walk again and the guy is back out hanging out at his house uh, in the front yard or whatever. And so, uh, oh, hey, so they start chatting again. Hey, Fu and Manchu. he goes, <laughs> yeah, he goes, Fu Manchu. <laughs> Calls him by sorry. the wrong name or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so he goes, uh. Dude, I had n my brother told me who you were, and I had no idea. I feel like an idiot. And the guy's like, "Dude, that's totally fine. Um, I don't, I don't care, and uh, it's it's totally fine." But and he goes it that way, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. But he he yeah. goes like, um, he kind of comments on that, being like, he goes, "I have a pretty good uh, level of fame where like people don't really know me." But like I like he goes, he even like this is what he told my brother. So this is all kind of secondhand story. But he was like, uh, sometimes at shows, I'll just sing the wrong lyrics and nobody even cares. Nobody. They're like not even there for me. You know, they're just like techno dancing <laughs> like, yeah, hey, whatever. <laughs> this, uh, the guy who sings is only get the hook. Right. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we don't know the words either. So everyone, um, <laughs> isn't it? Everybody. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the can? So, who do you think's like the most? I don't know. That, that's probably not the most famous person you've met, Andrew. But uh, who's like? Do you have any famous person people that you've met? Can I, I don't like in, like encounters? Ask, Just random with comedy, not comedy, anything that you've. I don't know. I mean, I've seen. I went to. I don't, court, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like I would probably um uh uh, uh what's his name? The dude that's still the. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, the guy that steals all the jokes, like, Corey Michaelis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. have like millions of views on YouTube and stuff, so easily uh, the most famous. Like, not any of the comics that I've ever opened for. Uh, <laughs> um, I would probably uh, um, what's the dude's name? Uh, George, uh, George Lopez. Yeah, oh, yeah. Carlos Mencia, what's, maybe. Is that Carlos Mencia, yeah, yeah. Yeah, George, whichever one was stealing jokes. I don't know. Yeah, They're both. That was Mencia. Oh, Mencia. I see. I didn't hear yeah. you say that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah I don't think he's. Uh, I think he is the most famous guy I've met. Because, like, to perform at a Super Bowl show, um, that's yeah. pretty famous. And that's pretty he's also like, um, he's like, uh, he's the son of Barry Gordy, who was like the famous. Um, is that right? Yeah. Like I the famous, um, uh, you know, he ripped off all those Motown people, right? Yeah, yeah it was like yeah, thief. Yeah. This is the word you're looking for. <laughs> that Mulaney, that Mulaney joke is a good joke. Where he? Oh know, yeah, uh, excuse me, Mr. Barry Gordy. What do I, I sign? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, huh? I don't even. Yeah, I mean, it's I should. I don't. You know, you sometimes you ask a question because you have a good answer. Also, I don't. I don't. I got nothing. But I was just curious. Yours was. Uh, Have you met all of famous. your neighbors? Like, do you are you friends with them? That's do a good you... question. I okay, so I tried. Because <laughs> I, I don't. Last Christmas, I tried to give all my neighbors oh. almond roca, and some tickets to an Everett comedy night show. Right, we it's eight minutes away is the venue. New, 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 and and uh, uh, I I hadn't met these people over here, or maybe I'd met them once. So I just left it on their doorstep. I knew them pretty well, left it on their doorstep. Hadn't met the brand new people. So I was like, all right, this will be my introduction, right? And so I finally am home. They're home. Both their cars are in the driveway. I can see their lights on. Perfect. Uh, it's a little dark. out. I mean, it's winter, so it's a little dark out, but whatever. So I walk up to their doorstep. And it's so hilarious. These days, you walk up to someone's doorstep, and it's like, bro, what? 
They get guns out. They're like, what's going on? They're looking through the the window. Saw me this walk guy. up. I knock. I see them. I see he them shuts all the movie. lights off. He goes to a <laughs> safe room. <laughs> I see him watching a movie. Now they had company, which I didn't know at the time, but then I saw the company. So they had their like brother over watching a movie. A dog's barking. I'm knocking. They're just like not gonna answer. And there's like this awkward 45 seconds and they go and I knock again. I'm like, I don't know. And they go, or I ring the doorbell. Cause I was like, well, maybe they didn't hear. And they go, yeah, who is it? And I was like, oh, man, this is so, I was like, no, thank neighbor, you. neighbor across the street. My name's we Corey. have enough Girl Scout cookies. Please go away. <laughs> You're like, we don't care about Jehovah it's... or anything else. <laughs> We're not going to convert to Judaism. <laughs> yeah. So they open the door. Jehovah's now Witness the dog, in the neighborhood. God damn it. The dog is like jumping on them and they're like trying to hold their dog back. And they're like, oh, okay, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Corey. I live across the street. Just wanted to give you a gift for Christmas and introduce myself. Oh, okay. I, and I don't remember their names. It was also frantic. And then like they have to like crack open the screen door just so they can get the gift. And I'm like, and also I'm a comedian, and there's t- tickets to uh, see you go to my comedy Slam the door show. in your face. <laughs> I guess. Hey, it's it's gonna be a good show. We got Ken Hamlin next week. <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 over it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, and I just walked away like, wow, that was just a total fail. And then <laughs> since then, like, well, there's been some waves and some hellos and some whatever. But like, I can see he gets golf clubs out of his car, like frequently and i'm yeah. like i'm a god like we would be friends, we could be friends. but <laughs> yeah because that- there's no we can't like i can't like go hang out with them right now because of covid and shit so it's like hey where'd you play uh, today oh i played legion i was like yeah i played there the other day do you want to go ah never mind i don't want <laughs> dude no that's like a great that's like yeah. the best entry into like my wife made me like one of my best friends because she like there was a guy moving in it was one before we bought our house in tacoma we lived in these lofts downtown and uh he was bringing in golf clubs and my wife just was like happened to go past and she was like hey my husband golfs you guys should meet and then after that we just like Oh, kicked it, it off like best. we were like best friends yeah after. yeah it totally is yeah yeah, yeah. that's why Gotta businesses you know business meetings are always golfing and shit. yeah i gotta play when I, I gotta come out to chicago we gotta play do you do you know now and where you are now are you like what condo house are you on the edges of the city are you a suburb what's your... yeah um so we are in a condo in rogers park which is like we're actually like we're basically evanston we are literally if you take like the main like think Pack Ave, and when you get all the way to like Spanaway area, like for the people that don't know, you I'm basically there, like outside of that. <laughs> you don't even. Nah, I like how you're person. like. Way to use my government name. Anyway, here's how you get to my house. You take a left at the Seven Eleven, and uh, it's no. Like this is Chicago, so you know I didn't get any of my city <laughs> streets. So I don't like. I'm I'm totally safe. <laughs> oh, you go down Pack Ave right at the end of that. You're gonna see a laundromat. You're gonna take a right. Yeah. Your that's his address one one three seven. <laughs> so, that's, do you meet uh, your neighbors, or are they all oh, yeah. scared of a black man? Fuck no, fuck no. Uh, I actually live in a super cool area. Like, uh, the biggest part for us when we moved to Chicago, we wanted to be in a diverse neighborhood. Uh, so we live in an area that's like just a pocket of like diversity, and then by pocket I mean like one street, and then everything else is white. Like. <laughs> So, so like we're in like a, a little diverse pocket and then so it's a cool it's a cool yeah, and i'm like driving like 15 minutes away from the laugh factory so oh, that's great i spent a lot of time like that was a spent most of my time i was like going to the laugh factory so and that was like for me was just like i wanted to be <clears throat> close enough to the city uh where i can get to the laugh factory and like all the rest, but then like i wanted to be away from the city so that like, not raise a kid in the middle of the city right right well i yes yeah, chicago i've let's see i just done spots that laugh at your comedy bar they they uh maybe like me i don't know they've had me uh and then rosemont when the old gm was there but she's now moved on somewhere else and yeah. uh, she's in Ve- she's in vegas cindy she's at brad garrett's now gm there anyway and oh, then dope. uh 
what's his name wayne or bill or dale or what's the white guy's name that books uh you're talking about zany's downtown uh oh brian brian is like well he's oh, like he's the new, new booker at zany's downtown uh the yeah. old guy was a uh, old yeah. like in the last yeah. year and a half uh, okay there's an old <laughs> curmudgeon before him that uh gotta update your booking sheet oh yeah well a year and a half I, mean, <laughs> I, uh, I did a thing of like i did comedy a headline comedy bar one weekend and then stayed the following week to feature at zany's and i was just like hopefully they don't find out you know let's do it uh and the comedy bar didn't care and nobody that worked at zany's cared like nobody that i met cared but i was like this booker guy for sure is gonna care he's like old school fucking yeah crotchety old man like he'll definitely care if he finds out but then he moved on and some new brian all right well brian i'll have to yeah in 2025 <laughs> i'll reach out to brian and see if <laughs> yeah. when chicago finally opens for... back up Oh, man. Well, Christmas was uh, good for you and your family. Do you guys do that? Do you celebrate that? Or are you Jewish? What's happening? Um, super Jewish. So <laughs> Christmas is a weird topic. Uh, <laughs> Got to do more research um, on our guests. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's all bio. It's like first black Jewish comedian to move to <laughs> Chicago. From That's the first sentence. Uh, <laughs> um uh christmas is cool i don't i'm like i don't like surprises and so oh, it's like okay. a thing where like my wife has to like i just gave my wife like a list of things well she's she's a stay-at-home wife so it's like me buying my own gifts but like she that sounds really shitty to say that but like uh -huh. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> i make all the money i just give this bitch so is, like, uh, owes everything to me like, and she'd be nothing <laughs> without me so when i say buy no, me something she, would be she jumps great, yeah uh <laughs> But I just I like give a list because one year she fucked up and just got me like shitty gifts that I didn't want. And I was like, I don't I don't like surprises anyways. So I was like, all right, we do list. And for me, I'm really good at gifts and I pay attention and I listen to things that she wanted. And so uh, she got like we both were super happy this Christmas, but I didn't wait till Christmas. Like I ended up I got What's a tennis a bracelet, gift? like a like a diamond tennis. Bracelet. Uh, <laughs> like a Rubik's uh, Cube? So this, <laughs> Great. No, this, it, was like a, it was like research a research this. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was like a fake like black diamond necklace and she was perform it's good like to have this when you're on and i was like no green. not <laughs> she was like nothing about me screams that i would wear this necklace ever like, <laughs> i got I don't, you the I don't spinning piece thing. 50 cent used to wear the g unit <laughs> thing was that fun <laughs> that's funny yeah. you, but you yeah. now your gift for her was a tennis bracelet and she was into it she liked it. yeah yeah, because she had mentioned those... it. Yeah, like, why do they what? call them tennis bracelets? By the way, what's that all about? I don't know. I don't. It doesn't. Right. I. I. I don't think you would wear one when you're playing, playing tennis. Tennis. Like right. if, okay. When right. you're using your backhand on your wife, that's when you <laughs> make up for the backhand you yeah, got. Yeah. Give her a tennis bracelet. <laughs> right. I, I see why you're still single, Andrew. I get it. <laughs> Not to mention the sores on my penis. <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, this Christmas was pretty good. <laughs> no, thanks good. for answering the question. That's good. <laughs> Get around to it. Anyway, what I, as I was saying, this Christmas was great. <laughs> um, did you? Do you guys have uh, root, like rituals or routines or uh, like? Uh, I don't know. My family every year we watch uh, we watch Christmas Vacation, uh, like all white families uh, do, and uh, and then we used I thought it was to Christmas do... Story. Yeah, Christmas Story. We but that runs on a loop on like TNT or TBS or something. So yeah, I mean, I guess we catch a little bit of it. But we're Christmas Vacation. That's our thing. And we used to do uh, one grandma's Christmas Eve, the other grandma's Christmas uh, Day, but they're dead so now there's just no <laughs> we did virtual with last night it was pretty fun we played bingo and uh got drunk we all i i delivered fireball bottles to my family i dropped them off at their houses and then yesterday we did zoom and we got drunk and it was fun but uh yeah That's you fun. got anything you got any movies you got any like th i mean i'm i'm always curious what other people do foods that are like oh, oh. we always do this and this is like I, I'm like the shit. I don't, 
I have traditions. I don't fucking like I don't care about most <laughs> traditions. I don't even like yeah. we don't even open presents on Christmas. Like this year we literally opened everything uh before Christmas and then like my son opened presents. But otherwise I'm like I don't even I used to be like really big in the holidays, but my dad was like a drunk and like hated holidays. <laughs> and so then I was just like, I don't, I don't, I, I just rather sleep through like this. Just not, uh, so not now you followed this. in his footsteps. So I don't, you I, hate holidays sure. and you're drunk. For sure. <laughs> and it's super drunk. And I, I usually break the Christmas tree in half on Christmas. So I guess that we do have, uh, <laughs> we have like a wish, like, uh, like a wishbone out of a turkey. <laughs> like, Oh, yeah, wow. like my wife wished she didn't marry me, type of thing. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Andrew? You get your family have any things you like or like? Hey, we don't we have, have a lot of like uh, traditions. Uh, we do. Um, I mean, my brother's got kids, so they go kind of all out and presents and uh, like to spoil their kids, and um, uh, they do all the uh, Santas coming. They get the Santa tracker on your phone. Ah. Um, we were going to watch um, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen and uh, my brother. He just kind of fell asleep in the middle of it. So um, <laughs> uh, but we were trying to see if it was good, like appropriate for the kids. You know, you're just looking for stuff to keep them busy while you're you can do something else. But um <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Uh, is a I watched the whole thing. is a good movie. It holds up. Um, I was gonna ask, some, yeah, some good laughs. And uh, what's funny to me is that there's a scene where he's like gaining all this weight to become Santa Claus, and he looks at the scale, and it's like he's at 190 pounds, and it's like, oh no! <laughs> it's like, shouldn't Shanna, Santa, shouldn't Shanna, shouldn't Shanta, shouldn't Shanta. he should be Shanta. fatter than 190 pounds, and. Uh, Sure. I that's like that i pretty... almost weigh that so yeah <laughs> Ooh, i'm about 210 yeah, I so i think uh <laughs> i got santa beat damn it i'm 210 <laughs> all right yeah 210 solid solid 210 yeah uh, 80 of that is his dick <laughs> it's mostly dick weight mostly dick weight <laughs> <laughs> calls it an anchor uh, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that's fun uh i don't uh yeah we don't uh we're what uh, we anymore not anymore because you're old and you got your grandma your parents your parents live across the country andrew and uh yeah uh this year obviously was bizarro and yeah we, my brother and my, yeah my brother and my dad and i tried to do like a challenge like a between uh thanksgiving and christmas like weight chat not weight but like health challenge you know we just made um, our own thing, and I was like, "I'm gonna lose five inches around my love handle," and I was, and then I told people, and they're like, "That's impossible in 25 days," <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, or 30 days or whatever, and I was like, "Oh well, I don't. I mean, I don't. I'm probably not gonna try anyway." So, <laughs> yeah. like, I just have to Perfect. declare it. That's all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wrote it on my vision board that I never look at and uh, then didn't do it. No, I lost two inches. Uh, so that's uh, it's not bad. You know, Baby, gained a half an inch on my outside. penis. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my parents were uh, they they uh, had a funny joke where they said, uh, hey, save our presents for last and then FaceTime us when they're opening our presents. And uh, uh, it was great. They were like, you can FaceTime us because by the time they're in Vermont, so they're like, uh, you guys will be up super early, but it'll be perfect time for us because it'll be 9 a.m. and we'll actually be awake. No, so no, they're yeah. like, this is the first Christmas we get to sleep in and and not have to oh, wake wow. up. The kids got up at 2.30 in the morning. No then, shit? Uh, yeah. 2.30 uh, in the morning? They're wow. geez, the worst. Uh, How they're did... so they're great, but they they sure. don't we don't they send them back to bed. And what happens is, uh, <clears throat> I think this is normal, but I mean, it just this they have trouble getting to sleep except for Christmas Day. They're like, it's 6 p.m. We want to go to bed because they know yeah. it'll be Christmas when they wake up. So now they wake up super early because they went gotcha. to bed early. But um, um, they I don't, but a lot of yeah. times like they need to they want to be like. Will you just lay with me until I fall asleep? And then that turns into like a like 
it seems I've had some like women say that to me before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, please don't leave just yet, Corey. But um, that's just because they don't want him to steal while he's while they're sleeping. <laughs> I see you long enough to get uh, the fingerprints um, in your. Damn it! You don't have hair samples I can take. But uh, uh, yeah, they they and what ends up happening is like um, one of the one of the adults will fall asleep down there also, and then they wake up at like four a.m. in a kid's bed, being like, "Fuck! Now my whole sleep, sleep rhythm is fucked." The whole thing, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I we had a very. So they now sent him I... back to bed and then they came up at like seven and then that uh, was more right. reasonable. Yeah. I remember being, um, yeah, I don't know. Very lucky. I guess of like, I didn't get a, like, we didn't get a lot of gifts or anything, but I remember everything. We were home at a certain time for my grandma's, uh, in bed sleep. I would get up in the middle of the night and go like, kind of like, I was such a good, like, I wouldn't even look. I would just like, kind of peek from afar and they always turn like the dimmer on just the exact amount because that was the clue that was my clue like oh he's been here uh as he turned the dimmer on oh the cookies That's fun. are gone and the milk's got like i knew and then oh, our wow you guys always are... like santa didn't wrap i don't know did santa wrap your gifts the gifts from santa were unwrapped oh wow and just out and this gifts from my yeah. parents were all wrapped so when we woke up Santa gifts were all like, oh, like right away, like, oh my God. And I just assume that's what everybody did, but I've learned. Which gifts that, were uh, better? Did your parents always make sure they had the better gifts than <laughs> Santa? That's funny. No, they, they <laughs> let Santa have the cred. That's funny. What? Uh, <laughs> what are idiots? That's a good point. I never thought about that. Santa Maybe. thinks you're an asshole, but I love you. So I don't yeah, think any kids, just... I, don't, I don't think any kids listen to this podcast, but, uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully we're not well really uh cory just tell your girlfriend to uh tune in another night <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but anyway so we don't we i don't know when the joke I doesn't knew. work because cory dates older women but yeah uh, yeah they're, fine. they're too old to, <laughs> tell your girlfriend's joke. kids to not listen to the podcast Sorry, there we that's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't know when i knew i would say like 11 years old maybe 10 yeah I was yeah. trying to think about it because my brother was like, "Yeah, Is that old or young to you?" I have no idea. That's old as fuck, dude. Oh really? <laughs> like that's, that's like way Corey too was old. Was a though. slow developer for sure. Everything but, uh, has been late in my life. I didn't have sex till I was twenty-two. Uh, you know, I uh, I just learned about. When did you get your first period? Weed last week. <laughs> yeah, period. Um, I mean, I have a. Uh, you know, I got a. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, you gotta tune into the Patreon for that. <laughs> tune in the Patreon for that last little bit. Uh, is that the so, yeah, mid level uh, donation late? to see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah late, you dude. gotta get the second tier. Second is that tier. Like fourth grade. Ten's like fourth grade, third grade, fourth grade. I don't know. Sure. Do you guys remember? I don't even. I don't well, think there was ever a now. moment where I. Re- yeah. How old is your kid? He's two, and I don't. Does he, he doesn't know? believe in Santa. <laughs> <Is> he... <laughs> Yo, Santa's bullshit. I got you those gifts. You better pay attention to me. He he sat me down. And he was like, "Hey, Dad, I'm too old for this shit. All right, don't just kick it to me straight, man." <laughs> I was yeah. Like, all right, dude. That is not really right, man. <laughs> That's funny. Now, what are we gonna do about the injustices against our people in this country? Oh, man. <laughs> You are really old, <laughs> advanced for your age. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got I got him a bean buy and a scully for his second birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Michael well, Michael Jordan jersey. This should say Black Lives Matter on the back of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's great. That's funny. That's good. Um, hope you didn't get him a bag of Skittles. Um, uh huh. No, uh, no, <laughs> too too that that didn't work for you. All right, it didn't. Uh, I would uh. I'm out. <laughs> just kidding. That's fun. I don't know. Ken, I don't Ken just uh, just is like I don't even want to no. acknowledge that. My joke. internet connection is going out, guys. I gotta. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... You were supposed to leave during the monologue, not during the actual <laughs> part where we uh, try to interact. Well, and, we waited uh, this learning. long to get racist, so that's what happens. <laughs> Fair enough. Which is also a new record for you guys. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard. Just can't believe we made it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember. I do remember Santa being like, um, 
uh, at a certain point, he stopped wanting to like wrap presents and deal with that. So he would just be like, here's a plane ticket to Hawaii. And we we're like, oh, fucking cool. Like we'd come out and there'd be like nothing. There'd be like a little bit of stuff. And then he'd be like, guess that's it this year. And then he'd be like, oh, wait, what's this envelope say? And so no. And you used to have to print out your plane tickets back then. That's crazy. <laughs> so it'd be like fucking plane ticket and be like, holy shit. Wow. Huh. So we 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 had like a Christmas tradition of like going to Hawaii. And um actually what's funny, I I forgot about this kind of to bring it up, but um last one one year we were in Hawaii and my dad, we were just listening to the radio, and the guy started playing one of my dad's songs on the radio <laughs> while we we're in Hawaii. And so my dad was like, What the and he's like he like had to Google, I think, oh, uh, okay. where the radio station was, and so they just drove to the radio station. And was like, "Hey, you're playing my music," and the guy That's was like, funny. "Dude, come on in, hang out." And so he just went on the air in Honolulu, and uh, I'm the lead dude. singer of LMFAO. Your dad <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your dad abandoned for your Christmas vacation, like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, I mean, yeah, if I was on a vacation and someone was like, hey, you're a comedian, I got a gig. I'd be like, fucking see you later. Peace. <laughs> got to do some stand up. Um, uh, this might be the f I don't I wouldn't say funny, but um, I still get gifts from my ex-wife's mom for my birthday whoa. and for Christmas. And they yes. their love language is giving, which works out great for me. <laughs> And wish so, uh, my ex-wife would have been a giver. <laughs> she, been she is a taker. Half she, my stuff. <laughs> uh, that shit her down. love language was taking half my stuff. Yeah, that's one. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and somebody yeah. else's dick. So <laughs> uh, Actually, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Uh, accurate. Um, so. <laughs> she texted me on um, Christmas Eve, or, or no, a few days before Christmas. She's like, "Hey, I still have your gift for your birthday because we weren't able to like see them uh, the last six months." And she goes, uh, "And now it's coming up on Christmas, and so I got your gift for Christmas." And she goes, "This is probably really tacky, but uh, I'm just gonna PayPal you all the money." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that sounds great," but uh, and I was like, "Yeah, that's fine, but..." I mean, hopefully just, I don't know, just hang on to it and we'll see each other and it'll be fine. And it'll be a few months and we'll get the back, whatever I said. And she goes, uh, and I go, Hey, uh, so this is how fun she is. I go, we're doing zoom Christmas with my family. We're going to play bingo and drink. And she goes, Oh, uh, strip bingo. And I was like, this lady's crazy. She's <laughs> awesome. And I go, ah, well, you know, we're, it's on zoom. So we probably won't have pants on, you know? <laughs> and then, a few hours later, I got a PayPal notification for six hundred dollars. So. This is your Christ. tip for later. This right. is just You're a prostitute, tip. dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I. Uh, That's what so I, I got, got from my parents. Uh, they just uh, send a thousand bucks, and uh, I was like, "That works better than anything." My parents gave me like a juggling set one Christmas. I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> I, what makes you think I even would be able to learn this?" We've, we've this is why I have a list system uh, now, you dude. Should incorporate. <laughs> other things that's why you have a list yeah yeah um, i as a I bald white a, uh, guy yeah. i don't like making lists uh just feel no, like boys. <laughs> i worked at um, a uh, christmas tree farm every every christmas oh really once i was in high school um i was in a as a boy scout kind of a troop and we funded our trips every year by selling christmas trees and so every uh every thanksgiving we'd Actually, starting in October, we would have to like cut all these trees and, you know, they ch child labor. But it was like it was a nonprofit and all the money we buy snowmobiles and we go camping and we do all this cool shit. And, um, that was pretty fun. fun. But uh, that was the Good first man. year I uh, got I got caught shoplifting. Um, we the, it's right across. It used to be in Bellevue, right across from a Sears, and we would just walk over there. And we were like, we we're like working at this tree lot, and I was like, oh, I could use like a a knife or whatever, you know. So I just stole a knife, <laughs> and then um, 
I was like, I was re- I'm really good at that. I thought like I was like, I was really smooth. And so I just started stealing stuff all the time. And what was your method? Did you like like slide it into your sleeve? Did yeah, you just... 100 percent. That's it. I thought that was unique to me, but that's pretty common, I guess. <laughs> he immediately guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the first one you would do. Yeah. I would take it and walk move. around rookie. with it. Yeah. And then <laughs> I just sock, ever though. so slowly I'd be, you know, you lifting it up, up there. Your butt. <laughs> they also had an elevator one time. We went in the elevator and took the floor up and then stuffed it in. And um, oh, and uh, my buddy uh, at the time, we're not friends anymore, but uh, he went into the bathroom and like tried to open a thing up. And uh, and then he was like, people are walking in. I'm sure they heard me. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking plastic. You got to rip it. But um, you then we stole got something out of plastic, like he a plastic. Me, yeah, yeah, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he had to steal scissors, also. Yeah. To- <laughs> <laughs> he had to borrow my knife, so I had to go steal it. So he could. Knife, yeah. But well, uh, yeah, and then were- I threw mine in the woods because the other kids got caught, and I was like, they're gonna tell on me, and so I just threw it in the woods, and then they were like, well, go in the woods and find it, and I was like, well, fuck that, <laughs> and uh, I was like, I should have just held on to it, you know, but. Well, that's cool. You worked for a nonprofit, and we still do. We still hey, work for hey. a nonprofit. Uh, and I am not profitable. So, <laughs> Scott um, Lossie. Oh, there's someone we should have on the. Absolutely. Ken, you've been great, but we should have had Scott. Um, oh, yeah. That reminds me of a funnier comedian we haven't <laughs> talked to. Ah, <laughs> oh, so funny. Uh, well, shit. That's, I mean, we kind of talked about all the things. Uh,. Unless you guys got something else. Well, you have a pretty dope podcast yourself, though, Ken, that I was on. It was really fun. What's it called again? It's called A Drunken Night Out. Um, actually, both of you guys were on it. Andrew yeah. was like, one of, I, I want to say Andrew was the first episode ever, actually, when I went to really? A Drunken Night Out. We record, you were one of the first five episodes. We recorded in like Portland Yeah. on your that. way. I think you were doing Cap City, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, I was, um, oh, I was doing, yeah. se- that was on my way to uh, find out I wasn't on a TV show anymore. <laughs> yeah. We, <laughs> we had a conversation. The whole conversation. Uh, I'm like, and I, this and all this hard work and it's all paid off and I'm on my way and I'm going to be a big star. And then, and then they're like, a new phone, who this? And I was like, hello, <laughs> Hollywood. Like, hey, Ken, can you erase all of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take all that stuff out. That's oh actually not. That's actually funny. That's not the. Fr- that's not the only. I didn't ask you to take anything out, but um, yeah. I filmed a thing with my buddy, with my buddy Steve Hofstetter, and he introed me by being like, "Andrew's down in L.A. shooting a TV show," and then I was like, "Hey, can you uh, take that out?" Because that didn't happen. <laughs> and he's like, "Ah, no one will know. We didn't mention anything by name." I was like, "Yeah, I don't want that." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Sure. There's to a me. chance that someone might be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I just feel like an idiot being like, "Oh, what, what TV show? I ah, it's a tiny thing. It didn't uh, didn't work out. I got cut." It was on Nat Geo, Nat Geo yeah, yeah. Two, actually. <laughs> I just say it was on Comedy Central because no one watched it the anyway. Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> the Ocho. Nat Geo the Ocho. That's right. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, the drunken night out is very fun and uh, great name. What's your podcast. Zoom show you're doing too? We did that Zoom show, right? Are you still doing that? Oh, uh, we're not doing any of the other yep, shows. We'll anymore. delete this part of the podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you could just uh, take that part out of there, uh, that's gonna be your intro. <laughs> hey, remember that show? Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, oh no! I used to. I was doing a lot of different shows. I was doing uh, Triple Threat, which a show that me and a couple other people created, and then me and Josh did a show. Which Josh was Josh Firestein was the creator of the show. I was just the host, a uh, co-host on it, and uh, that show was called Party Time. Super fun show. If, we, if it ever comes back out, y'all should check that out. And then A Drunken Night Out is the thing that I've been doing consistently. Is there for, anywhere they can find uh, the archive? Show. Oh uh, yeah, go on the Big Laugh Comedy Network either on the YouTube page and then on Facebook. You can check that out okay. there. So beautiful. Uh well, Ken Hamlet, uh two T's. Find him on all the things. Uh, I'm at Corey Michaelis Comedy on all the things. Andrew is Andrew J. Rivers on all the things. Thanks for uh, letting us homeschool you. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>